Probably just a misunderstanding. Yeah, exactly. An embarrassing one, though. <laughs> Having some hotel clerk telling me my wife wasn't where she was supposed to be. I was where I was supposed to be. I told you about the meetings I had. I showed you the notes I made. Are you showing me the signed contracts? Yeah, exactly. But the hotel is still adamant that only one room was booked, which just doesn't make sense, does it? Doing it again, aren't you? I'm just telling you what the hotel told me. Just like last time, jump into conclusions. And look what happened then. Nothing did happen then. I don't know how many times I have to swear that to you. So does that mean that something's happened now? So now you're twisting my words. Nothing happened then, and nothing has happened now. Like I said, it's probably just a simple misunderstanding. So let's just get it all out in the open then, shall we? You explain, we clear it up, we move on. Is that simple? Won't take too long, will it? It's OK. No. I'm not going to explain anything. Someone else can. What? Well, you want to know what happened? You want the truth? Come on. So you were staying in Leeds. My wife was staying in Leeds. But only one room was actually booked in your name. So, where was my wife staying? She was staying there. Then how do you explain that booking for just one room? Tell him, Eve. Tell him the truth. Suki was staying there. How many times? I was staying somewhere else. What? An old flame of mine moved up there a month or so ago, and I was looking her up. And I asked Suki not to say anything, because I didn't think you would appreciate me mixing business with pleasure. Hopefully, the purchase agreement for the Vic will be coming soon. So, next fiscal year should be looking good. Is that it? What? Is that all you've got to say? Oh, I'm glad we cleared all that up. Yeah, yeah it's just due diligence. It's what? Yeah, water under the bridge. Eve's explained. Now, oh, what else is there to say? You've said a lot of things. But the one thing you haven't said is sorry. I'm not living like this, Nish. <laughs> Tiptoeing around you, making allowances, turning a blind eye to your moods, forgiving your accusations. I did that the last time you ranted and raved at me about a man I had nothing to do with. And look how that turned out. With me raising our family single-handedly for the next 20 years. Have you ever thought that Maybe you might be happier if we weren't living like this. If there wasn't a me and you. How can you say that? Well, at least you wouldn't be tormenting yourself. 